Let's have some fun with symbols in Affinity Photo to create non-destructive patterns. As you might know, Affinity Photo does not support symbols out of the box like Designer. It does, however, support linked layers. When the layers are linked, they will copy over the properties from each other, very similar to a symbol in Designer. One major disadvantage of linked layers is that you cannot make a linked duplicate of a group. I just created a group and notice how the duplicate linked is turned off for the group. You could use the linked layers functionality to create non-destructive patterns, however, you don't have the flexibility of what symbols can offer. But there is a workaround by using Affinity Designer. In Designer, we just quickly create two objects and group them. With the group selected, we can convert this to a symbol by pressing the Create button in the Symbols panel. Notice the orange vertical line in the Layers panel indicating that this is now a symbol. Let's copy this symbol and switch back to Affinity Photo. If I now use the Paste function, the symbol from Designer is copied into Photo. Let's get rid of the linked stars and focus on the symbol we just copied. Notice how this looks like a group in the Layers panel with the circles inside it. When I press Command or Ctrl J to duplicate it, notice how Photo automatically links all the layers. I can go to one of the circles in the group and change the color. Because they are linked, the color of the duplicated layer will also change. Now here is where things get really interesting. When I remove the circle from the symbol group, the linked blue circle from the other group is also removed. This group we have right now acts like a symbol, just like in Designer. I'm also going to remove the other circle and we are left with two empty symbol groups. I can now add layers or objects to one of them and it will be automatically added to the other one as well. We basically have dynamic symbols in Photo, which is pretty awesome. Let me quickly create a simple stars pattern by adding a couple of stars to the group. I will then duplicate this group and reposition the duplicates until I have some kind of a pattern. The cool part is now that I can easily change the color of a star and it will automatically update all the other linked instances. What makes this so cool compared to regular linked layers is that I can apply transformations and the same relative transformation will apply to all the existing instances. But even cooler, I can still add elements to the group and it will be added to all the other symbol groups. So if I add a circle, for example, you can immediately see it is being added to all the other instances. Pretty cool. Let me add a simple piece of text and use the pattern we just created as a fill for the text by making it a child layer of the text. If I set the fill color opacity of the text to zero, only the pattern will be shown constrained by the area of the text. To make the text a bit more visible, I'm going to resize the pattern group and make another copy so we get a more denser pattern, making the text more visible. As nothing is destructive, I can still go to an object and make changes to it and it will be automatically updated to all the other instances. Because we are in Photo, we can use all the Photo functions like filters. For example, I can add a live Gaussian blur filter to an object. But we can also add a pixel layer to the group and use all the pixel tools available in Photo. I can just paint with the brush on the pixel layer and it really acts like a pattern layer. I can modify this layer as I want, add adjustments or filters, and everything will be in sync. Pretty awesome. By the way, I have created a document for you to experiment with. A link will be in the description. I have used an artboard for the used colors in the pattern. Then, I have another artboard for the actual pattern. Changing a color from the color artboard will change a color of a star in the pattern. The third artboard is the test artboard, where you can quickly see how the pattern looks and the final artboard is a quick example of the pattern applied as a fill to the text. I would say just download and play with it. 
keep in mind that it could be heavy on your computer as Affinity has to work really hard to keep everything in sync. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you did. Until the next video.